Mark, a bit of breaking news this morning with the axing of a long-running Aussie TV show. Yes, Ben, Rob, Rob, good morning, afternoon, evening and good night. There's lots going on in the land of television right now, not least of which is the cancelling of Toasted TV. Ten have, uh, through an exclusive on TV Black Box, confirmed that their kids programming Toasted TV will be finishing up, will be ending. And I believe we've got an alumnus from Toasted TV uh -huh. on the program with us right now, Robbo. Hello there, Mocky. Yeah, good, uh, good afternoon to you. This is very sad. So I was actually the series producer of Toasted TV from 2009 until 2013. Easily some of the best years of my life. We went, we went mm -hmm. around the country, went overseas. Obviously in the later years, you know, the show changed kind of formats. Uh, but it, is a, it was really a fantastic show when a lot of other people weren't doing that kind of crazy humour. We used to call it, uh, you know, a variety show for kids. We had many different mm. uh, characters. It was just, it was so much fun. It was like a fast forward cross with a Tonight Show, cross with a cartoon show uh, in the mornings. Uh, we did it on a shoestring budget. This is actually really sad as well because a lot of people uh, on the mountain, as we know, Mount Kutha in Brisbane, um, yep. a lot of people are employed here. It's a small team, but there's a lot of people. Ollie has done an amazing job um, for the past seven years. Uh, we had Seamus Kellen, you know, a lot of other people. But it, it's it's really sad to see this go. And, and you know, I, I know it's just a kid's show, but it's another, like, nail in the coffin of, of Australian productions. Do you think, Mark, like it's just every single time we just get one more knocked off the perch. I, 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 I don't yeah. know what, what's next. It's, it's just sad, really. It really is, Rob. And this off the back of the fact that Free TV, the uh, organisation that represent commercial television, uh, essentially purporting and, and asking the government for them to drop quotas altogether, which would mean that there wouldn't be any motivation for them to do a toasted no. TV or any of its precursor television that we, you know, grew up on ostensibly. It's really sad, but, you, we, you know, if there were no quotas, Australian next networks would drop kids' programming like a hot potato. Now, imagine if that yeah. happened before, we wouldn't see any around the twist, we wouldn't see Agro's Cartoon Connection, we wouldn't see all of these amazing... I know they're a long time ago, but my point is that there's not that extension. Bluey, for example, is Australian. Mm. Now, I know that the ABC had different quotas, but... Uh, Kids are about to not see any kind of Australian stories because they will be... The moment the government says, oh, no more quotas, the axe will fall, which is really sad. It's a Ben, Rob and Rob, oh, Ben, Rob and Rob.